Hi, I'm Marcus Wojcik with the Dirty Gym and USPA Powerlifting. This is an overview video for the beginner to discuss the rules of performance for powerlifting and the structure of the competition. There are three events in powerlifting, the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. In each event, you will have three attempts to lift the heaviest weight possible under our standards. Your heaviest attempt that's made successfully will count towards your total. The highest total in each weight class wins. Now we'll cover the second event in powerlifting, the bench press. You'll have three attempts, just like the squat. Again, beginners, be very conservative with your opening attempt because if you do not make your opening attempt, you will bomb out and you cannot continue. So the points of performance in the bench press, there are three commands now rather than two like in the squat. There's a start command, a press command, and a rack command. We'll go over that now. Start. Press. Rack. Start. Press. Rack. Start. Press. Rack. So now we'll talk about the handoff. The person that wants to give you a liftoff must exit the platform after they give you a liftoff. This will be a demonstration now. Start. Press. Rack. So here are the reasons for disqualification in the bench press. One would be failure to follow commands. Matt, please demonstrate. Remember, there are three commands in the bench press. Start, press, and rack. Failure to adhere to any one of those commands will result in a failed lift. Start, rack. There, Matt didn't wait for the start command. In this one, Matt will jump the press command. Start, press, rack, fail. And in this one, Matt will jump the rack command. Start, press. All three of those will result in a failed lift. Another reason for a failed lift, uneven lockout. Start, press, rack. The bar may shift during the press, but at the final extension, it must be even. If you have an elbow injury that prevents this, please find a referee or a judge and let them know. The next reason for a failed lift would be raising the glutes off the bench. Start, press, rack. The glutes and shoulder blades must remain in contact with the bench press. The head can move. And finally, the last reason for failure of a bench press is the double dip. Just like in the squat and later in the deadlift, as we'll show you, the bar must have a continuer, continuous upward motion. At no time may it come down and then go back up. Start. Press. Rack. Thank you. Hi, I'm Marcus Wojcik with the Dirty Gym and USPA Powerlifting. This is an overview video for the beginner to discuss the rules of performance for powerlifting and the structure of the competition. There are three events in powerlifting, the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. In each event, you will have three attempts to lift the heaviest weight possible under our standards. Your heaviest attempt